and welcome to my channel. This is going to be part one of a two-part haul video, possibly three parts. I have a couple of other videos planned. I have not been able to film lately because I've been really busy. So I am just going to get started. The first one here, as you can see in the box, is called Oud 24 Hours. And the this is from the UAE. I ordered this on eBay and the maker is Ard El Zafaran. Okay, I don't know if you can see that on there. Again, I purchased this on eBay and it was shipped to me from India rather than the Middle East. And this is supposed to be a dupe for Tom Ford's Black Orchid. So this is a smaller bottle. It comes in two different sizes. I got the smaller one because I've never actually tried Black Orchid, although it's been on my bucket list for a while for wanting to try it. I have tried a dupe oil that I have right here. This is a Tom Ford Black Orchid dupe oil, which I like. It's a lot darker and a little dirtier than I would generally wear. Really good winter scent. This is actually, um, these two are very similar and this um, Oud 24 Hours is actually very nice. Um, I like it, but it's really not for summer, and of course we're right in the heat of summer right now, but for a 50 ml bottle, I paid under $20, and that included shipping. So if you are if you like Black Orchid, or if you're interested in trying it, and you don't know if you like it, this is definitely worth a try. I can't compare it to Black Orchid. I apologize for that, because I've never actually worn the real stuff, but I know it's a greatly hyped, much beloved fragrance, so I just wanted to present this as part of my haul for you. Next up, I have a, another Middle Eastern fragrance. This one comes in two different forms. This is um, a body spray mist, and this one is a roll-on perfume oil. They're the same fragrance. The maker is El Nuaim. You can see that here. It's N-U-A-I-M, and I'll have that in the description box below. And it's called Chocolate Musk. All right, here's the look of the the other bottle here. So I um I'm not immune to liking a good chocolate fragrance. I think they're very cozy, very pleasant, and who doesn't like to smell like chocolate every now and then? It's really more of a fall winter fragrance. Both of these are. They smell exactly the same. I would say the chocolate musk, of course, the spray is going to get a better hit on your clothing where the perfume oil warms up on the skin and lasts for several hours and they complement each other perfectly. If um, I found that when I have perfume oils, I really like to pair it with the spray. They're a perfect match together. Now this I could compare to Chaco Musk, which is a well-known fragrance from El Rehab, which is also going to be in this haul. Whereas the Chaco Musk is more vanilla heavy this is really more of a chocolate chocolate, but I will qualify that by saying this is more of a hot chocolate. So it's not the cocoa powder, it's not heavily vanillic. This is more of a hot chocolate that's been made with milk, and it's very creamy, very chocolatey, very heavy, maybe even made with dark chocolate, and it has a, maybe a little bit of vanilla in it, but it's not heavily vanillic but perhaps a little bit of caramel. The way I would describe this is a car musky, chocolatey, caramely scent. All right, you get a little bit of all of those in there, but this is primarily chocolate. And it's very pretty. Again, I ordered this from Amazon. These were not very expensive. I don't remember the exact prices, but I did have them shipped from India, and the shipping is included in the price. And it did take a while, but for this, it's worth it. I really do enjoy it. I wish it was available um, stateside. All right, so I'm just going to move on to the next. And I'm going to cover what I was just comparing that to. This is Chaco Musk by Al Rehab. This fragrance has been um, very heavily reviewed on YouTube, so I don't need to go on and on about it. I do have the roll-on. I prefer to use that with the spray. This is more of a chocolatey vanilla. Even though it's called Choco Musk, it's supposed to be a chocolate fragrance. 
it's more like chocolates in the background, vanillas in the foreground. It's a real warm, cozy, powdery fragrance. The chocolate is, if you've ever bought that cocoa powder, I don't mean the baking cocoa, I mean the kind where you mix it with hot water or hot milk and you make hot cocoa for your kids. Like I used to make that every winter for my kids. And when you first open up that can and you put your nose up to it and you can smell that cocoa powder drink, that's a lot like what this smells like. It does have a warm, musky, yellow musk type base, which is very um, warm, fuzzy, nostalgic. I really enjoy this. People seem to either love or hate this, but it's not very expensive. So if you want to give it a try, you probably won't be out more than $15, $20 if you don't like it. And it does come in different sizes, including the roll-ons, which are very inexpensive. You could probably get one for $3.99 if you really wanted to give it a try. All right. Sorry, I bumped the camera there. And then I have two more in this portion of the haul. This is Swiss Arabian. This is a um, perfume oil called Sandalwood Gold. Now, I am a big sandalwood lover, and so I'm just going to briefly present this because I know not everybody likes perfume oils, but I really like to dabble in them and use them for blending of other perfumes, and I love sandalwood. It is really my jive completely, especially in the fall and winter. It's a warm, sexy, woody um, this is two has two um, notes only, and this is from the Swiss Arabian site, and it's simply uh, sandalwood and musk, and it's got a, a real sexy, woody softness to it, warm, cozy, and it lasts for hours. It's not one of those that you smell across the room. Perfume oils tend to wear really close to the skin, and this is no exception, but it's just beautiful. If you like Sandalwood. This one was $15 on eBay uh, from a third-party seller from Swiss Arabian, and that included the shipping from UAE. And then I have one more for this haul. And this is a YouTube made me buy it. This is Judith Lieber Night. This is, bottle is supposed to emulate a night clutch, like an evening gown kind of a night clutch, and this is supposed to be the clasp. And I saw a review of this quite a while ago, and I was intrigued because this is a real cheapie. This is under $20. Again, I purchased it on eBay. eBay I'm sorry. Um, Judith Lieber Knight was formulated in 2011. Top notes include cinnamon, bergamot. Mid notes are jasmine, peony, and lily. Base notes are amber, patchouli, incense, and woodsy notes. This, for my, to my nose, is primarily amber, incense, patchouli. It's very rich, intense, a very seductive oriental fragrance. This has been compared to Dior Poison. I would say it's got Dior Poison's mood, but it does not have its rich depth and intensity. It doesn't smell as expensive, but this does not smell cheap. It's very, very nice. This is the kind of fragrance that really would go best with a black silk dress or a black velvet dress. It is that kind of a vibe. Absolutely gorgeous. Lasts, could be better, more like four to six hours. Definitely better fall, winter fragrance, but really impressive. This is my first Judith Lieber fragrance, and I definitely am interested in the others. There's one called Coral, and another one that I have on my wish list. So that's it for this portion of my haul. I will be back later today with, I have one or two more, maybe even three more, videos to film today because I actually have some time. So thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.